All right, let's talk about taming chaos in everything from huge power plants to tiny robots. So what if a controller could actually stop problems before they even happen? Well, that's the whole idea behind Active Disturbance Rejection Control, or ADRC for short. A disturbance can be anything, right? A gust of wind, a sudden power surge, you name it. For like 80 years, we've used the PID controller. It's solid, but it has one big flaw. See, a PID controller has to wait for an error. It's always playing catch-up, always one step behind. ADRC flips this whole thing on its head with a new idea, the total disturbance. It basically lumps all the unknown, messy stuff into just one single thing to deal with. Yeah, it's like feeling the entire current pushing a boat instead of trying to measure every single wave. So how does it work? Well, it's a pretty clever three-step process. Let's break it down. First, it smooths things out. No sudden jerky commands. It's all about a nice, smooth ride. Step two is the brain, the extended state observer. This thing is constantly watching and estimating. And here's where the magic happens. Active compensation. This is the real game changer. The controller figures out the perfect move to make, assuming a perfect disturbance-free world. But it also knows exactly how much junk is about to hit the system thanks to the observer. And it just subtracts it out. Boom. The disturbance is canceled before it even becomes a problem. So let's put them head to head. You have PID, which is a reactive, versus ADRC, which is proactive. When you break it down, ADRC is just more robust, way easier to tune, and gives tighter control. So why does this matter? Well, you get simpler tuning and way more stable, efficient control. And we're not just talking about power plants here. This is a big deal for a lot of fields. Think industrial automation, high-precision robotics, aerospace, even cutting-edge medical devices.